Hey everyone, I hope you are all well. Today's video is going to be about the different roles of cabin crew on the aircraft. Now this is another requested video. I will just read out the comment that this particular subscriber left. You are making really helpful videos about the job. Maybe you could do a video about the roles of cabin crew on the aircraft. What are the responsibilities duties of each specific cabin crew i would be curious when you are a ryanair cabin crew or actually a crew in general especially on short haul flights and especially on the smaller aircrafts like let's say you know 200 people aircrafts i think on ryanair it's 192 passenger seats four jump seats in the back two jump seats in the front and then two pilot seats and then one jump seat in the cockpit behind the pilot seats around about 200 yeah around about 200 people literally could fit on this aircraft at one time because it's about 200 seats the rule is basically for every 50 passengers or for every 50 HOB heads on board there has to be one cabin crew so usually there's four cabin crew per flight right a number one a number two a number three and a number four the number one is the most senior usually the number two could be senior as well but you, the number one who's usually assigned to that flight is usually the most senior that's the person who's been in the company for the longest it could be the number two as well but usually they don't put two number ones on one flight but if for example you and the number one and the number two started in the company on the same day they can discuss between themselves who would like to be number one because there are so many flights usually the crew control or whoever decides on the schedule kind of evens everything out so that there's always like somebody who's more senior than the other especially when it comes to the number one and the number two the number one is always the most senior the number four is always the most junior and it kind of goes the same for the number three and the number four they could have actually joined the company on the exact same day so they can decide between themselves or in the crew meeting who wants to be the number three and the number four you'll just decide the number one and the number four at the front of the aircraft the number three and the number two are at the back of the aircraft now let's get on to the specific responsibilities of this crew i can't really tell you all the responsibilities because there is some safety and security information in this i might touch on it lightly but i'm not really going to be giving away everything if you do plan on becoming a crew in the future you will learn this but this is basically to inform people who ha just have an interest okay another thing that i want you to note as well with regards to specific responsibilities is to please bear in mind there may be more responsibilities added or taken away due to the pandemic so the pandemic is probably affecting exactly what people are responsible over perhaps perhaps yeah I'm not there so I don't exactly know so don't quote me on anything everything I'm saying in this video is based on my experience and based on the rules regulations and procedures that I learned during my time as a cabin crew okay when you first enter the aircraft you will see jump seats to your left if you're standing in the middle of the aircraft or the back of the aircraft in the aisle to the front of the aircraft you will see two jump seats to the left of the forward of the aircraft they are pop-up seats because if they were lying down they would be in people's way that's the whole concept of a jump seat that it folds you know it doesn't just stay down you know you it jump you just sit in it just to kind of jump start <laughs> as the aircraft takes off you sit in it and then as soon as you're at about like 10,000 feet you jump out and you start doing the service pretty much while the aircraft is still climbing <laughs> if you're a passenger on board and you hear the bell go ding dong okay so usually when you hear that bell the number four walks from the front jumps up from their jump seat walks right to the back galley and picks up the magazines and goes right back to the front and starts distributing them from the front so there are actually 33 rows okay so usually the work is divided between the front and the back yeah including service giving out the magazines all that stuff even when it comes to the safety and security uh, procedures all right so back to number one's responsibilities okay so this is not an extensive list but just a selection 
of examples of responsibilities okay so the number one makes announcements in the front uh, sometimes the number four makes announcements with the number one so the kind of announcements the number one would make is welcome on board this Ryanair Boeing 737-800 ladies and gentlemen the captain is switched on the fasten seatbelt sign in preparation for landing or in turbulence ladies and gentlemen as we are currently experiencing some light air turbulence the captain is switched on the fasten seatbelt sign we kindly ask you to return to your seat and ensure that the seatbelts are securely fastened there should be no walking or standing in the cabin aisle and the use of the toilets is no longer permitted. You know, kind of things like that. The number four does make some announcements, such as the meal announcements. Okay, we are just about to start our lunch service. Today we have lasagna, chicken sandwich, na 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 na, bolognese, all that stuff, yeah? That's an announcement that a number four would do. The number one sometimes does it if she's a bit controlling. Not that anybody particularly wants to control this responsibility, but sometimes you will find that the number one takes certain responsibilities for herself but then makes you do other kind of stuff the number one signals the pilots for various things i can't exactly say what things but yes the number one does send signals to the pilots the captain the number one arms a slide on one door in the front and then cross checks the opposite side you will see that <laughs> in front of you and the number one typically does the head count so in the front with the number one is the number four the number four has to check the toilets make sure the toilets are clean make sure there's enough tissue in there make sure there's enough soap sometimes there isn't exactly enough soap in there or any soap and sometimes do a little bit of light cleaning touch-ups and everything that's the responsibility of a number four the number four also takes the guardrails from inside the cabin and keeps them on the steps the guardrails are there as a sign basically a physical sign a bit of a barrier if you've noticed something about the aircraft steps you know the ones that come out of the aircraft there is a bit of a gap that gap has to be closed with the strap and also guardrails the strap which is black and yellow is pulled from the aircraft and attached to the stairs and also these red guardrails which are like a metal stick uh, which are hooked onto the bottom of the aircraft and onto the steps so this is something a re specific responsibility for the number four another thing that the number four has to do is to check the uh, first aid equipment yeah i'm not going to give too many details about that but that needs to be checked by the number four making sure that they're all there once the number four has checked the first aid equipment they need to report back to the number one telling them that actually they've checked it another thing the number four has to do is to perform the safety demo standing at the front basically before aisle number one <laughs> so there's aisle number one and you have to stand a little bit forward so that aisle number one can see you another crew will stand at row number 11 another crew will stand at row number 21 and the number three crew has to arm the slides on one uh, door at the back at the aft of the cabin and cross check the other and you know vice versa with the number two they must perform the safety demo standing at aisle number 11 they have to check the, fi the first aid and fire equipment the oven as well also check that it's working so that when we were flying and we're doing service that actually is working the aircraft engineers and you know the other staff do check this stuff is working so i guess what the crew does is mostly like cross checking another thing that the number three has to do is the number three has to brief the abps sitting at the overwing exit the information they ask you to study is the um basically the safety information which is printed at the back of a seat in the front the number four also has to brief the abps and by abps that means people who qualify to sit in the emergency exit so the emergency exits are in row number one 16 and 17. another thing that number four has to do along with that you have to show that the safety equipment is in a specific place depends on the aircraft i guess but Basically, you need to give some extra information for the people in row number one. So back to the number three. So I did say that the, eight, the number three has to brief the ABPs in rows 16 and 17. And you have to tell them, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. All four sections, 16, A, B, C, D, E, F, and 17, A, B, C, D, E, F. Can I have your attention, please? And then you make the announcement. You're seated at an emergency exit. Therefore, you may be required to operate this exit. Please study this information tell them where the information is and if you have any questions just ask me so that's how you brief them not like exactly like I did it because I have my phone in my hand but that's how you brief them so I just want to go back to uh, number two so the number two does make announcements 
they do check on the potable water and some other stuff in the back galley and the back area potable water levels they have to make an announcement you know so that all the crew is aware after checking that they have to arm the slides on one of the doors and cross check the opposite and they must perform a safety demo standing in row 21 in the aisle this is just basically a small amount of the responsibilities of the individual crew. All crew have to arm the slides and cross check the opposite door. As much as they have to arm, they also have to disarm. If the doors are armed, that means it's going to be easy for the slide to pop out in case of an emergency. Anyways, I'm not going to go into too much detail. There's quite a lot of responsibilities of individual crew, but as a basic, everybody arms and disarms slides cross checks almost everybody makes announcements there's boarding there's a boarding pa usually it's the number one who makes that there's a toilet um, before landing pa there is the 10 minutes to landing there's the dimming of the cabin lights for night time have to dim the lights there's refueling <laughs> there is turbulence there is pre-landing 15 minutes so there's a landing 15 minutes and there's also the landing 10 minutes there's so many different announcements but guys i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it hasn't been too messy i really wanted to get this video filmed i wanted to share this information because i know that it was a requested video if you do leave a request i'm not sure when i will get to it i do have to get through the other requests first i do really want to get on to what i want to get on to with regards to my channel i think i need to try and steer it in a specific direction please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't subscribed as well as turn on your notifications so you know exactly when i've uploaded a video follow me on instagram i'll see you in my next one bye